Hi, I'm Todd Jones, host of the podcast Press Box Access. Here's a clip from my interview with Marla Ridenour. Marla puts us inside Municipal Stadium in 1995 for the Browns' surreal final home game before they moved to Baltimore. So that was the day in December of 1995. It's a horrible day in Cleveland sports history, and I'm sorry, Browns fans, I keep bringing up these bad things. But, um, you know, <laughs> it was Marla. Marla was there. I can't help it. i got to ask her about it. But during that season, the Browns got off to a decent start, and then news leaked that Art Modell was going to move the team to Baltimore, and everything went to hell. And it led up to the final game at Memorial Stadium where the Browns, you know, they ended up beating the Bengals, of course. <laughs> but but you were there, that, and at the time, there was not this deal that the Browns were going to get to retain the retained – the colors and everything, right? And the, and the history. It was like this. This was the, the last game for the Cleveland Browns. What was it like at Memorial Stadium? I don't. Yeah, no. There was no deal done yet about. Everyone thought this was it. I mean, I my memories, most vivid memories of that are being down on the field at the end of the game. Um, it was, you know, there people are throwing stuff, you know unscrewing seats and throwing stuff onto the field and i mean i really did think they were going to burn the place down i mean the thing were things landing near you well i I mean you know in the end zone and you know that kind of thing and the it i mean you know when you think back to the day when they're throwing batteries well this was like this could have hurt somebody you know like and i remember looking over like in sort of the tunnel areas on both sides of the dog pound there were these um chain link fences that are that's all between that's all there is between the field and the fans and i'm thinking they're gonna bust this fence down i mean people snuck in you know tools and stuff you know they're gonna or they're gonna climb it or i mean i just i thought it was gonna be utter mayhem you know at the end of that game i really did i mean i i literally was scared for what was gonna happen you know to the players you know to anyone who was out there um But then, you know, the players, when it was over, they went down to the dog pound and they all shook hands and talked to the people. I mean, that really diffused what I thought was going to be a very ugly situation. Um, Yeah, it ended up being a very touching scene because it really displayed the love between the team and, you know, the players and the fans. And I think you're right. I think it diffused a moment. Yeah, I mean, I mean, because that was like... You know, I mean, almost every guy on the team was down there talking to, you know, these diehard people who have been, you know, sitting there for, you know, so long. And but I I still have a piece of the a broken seat that I picked up on the way out that day. It's got the number 16 on it and it's all cracked and broken. And it's a wooden seat. You have it. It's a piece of a wooden, you know, just one slat of a seat with the number on it just because I wanted to remember the day.